The United States and Switzerland are what we call sister republics. The Swiss Constitution in 1848 was based on the United States Constitution. We share a mutual respect of rule of law, of minority rights, of the voice of the individual. This is an incredible place for Swiss businesses to expand and or build out their businesses because of that mutual respect for rule of law, because of our common shared values that we have. Plus, what I point out to Swiss businesses is that within the United States, they have a 300 million person market with a single language. And one of the unique things about that for the Swiss is that the Swiss have 8 million people with four languages. And from the United States standpoint, it's a very easy place to build out and expand into a tremendous market that in many cases is very interested in the products, services, and innovation that the Swiss businesses may have available. The United States is open for business. The land of opportunity has never been more opportune for Swiss businesses than it is today. What you have is a situation where the United States economy is growing by leaps and bounds, where you have an incredibly skilled workforce, a great education system, you have incentives and you have opportunities, whether it's between the different states or even at the federal level, to attract businesses to come to the United States now in particular. The president mentioned Reha Technologies that today, in fact, announced a $5 million investment in bringing their headquarters to Massachusetts in expanding their rehabilitation and medical services and devices company. Uh, we also have seen tremendous investment in the United States from companies ranging from Nestle to Alevo. Nestle being a very large company that many people are familiar with is going to be building a product and technology center in Ohio to the tune of $53 million. You also have a company like Alevo who is an innovative young company that is creating new ways to store energy off the grid and they are building a facility down in North, excuse me, down in North Carolina that will help increase the efficiency of the energy grid in the United States and Switzerland and throughout the world.